Thank you, Madam Speaker. Today I rise in support of not only this amendment, but the public safety of every Michigander and the well-being of our state. Well, I'm very glad to see that this budget provides some of the funding that our first responders need. We cannot afford to miss this opportunity to support all aspects of policing. It's time to reinvest in the people who call this state home. My amendment invests in proactive, innovative approaches to public safety. It adds bias and de-escalation training, enhances community violence intervention strategies, and creates an officer misconduct registry. These strategies will ensure that we begin to repair and strengthen the trust between our law enforcement and those they swore an oath to protect. It also invests in community engagement programs like the Community Crisis and the Jail Diversion Grant Program to begin, to solve, to begin solving some of the root issues behind crime. This amendment also adds the word oriented to community-oriented policing to better reflect the partnership between the police and the community. And critically, it provides more funding to community-oriented policing to effectively and efficiently solve local crime issues and prevent crime. Um, there are models across our state right now of amazing community-oriented police programs that we can help replicate. I'd like to take a moment to highlight one in my own district. The city of Oak Park has taken an incredibly proactive and an innovative approach to community-oriented policing. The city has two dedicated community liaison officers and a force of 55. These officers regularly visit block club and neighborhood events and meetings. They're in our schools connecting with students on a regular basis. They even provide their cell phone numbers so that citizens can call if they have issues or concerns. Oak Park Public Safety also has a Citizens and Student Academy designed to help the public understand the job and the difficulty of an officer. Uh, our Public Safety Department, part, Department has partnered with the school district, our local school district, uh, to have kids versus cops basketball games at the high school. We have coffee with a cop where citizens can come down to the local diner or coffee shop and connect with our officers in a positive environment. And I'm proud to say that the city of Oak Park is, to my knowledge, the only community in the state of Michigan with a public safety ice cream truck delivering free ice cream to kids across the city during summer events and activities. It is in large part because, an initi because of initiatives like these that the Oak Park Public Safety Department has an incredibly positive relationship with our community. Models such as this one can be replicated across our state and this amendment offers the financial support so that all of our communities have the opportunity to invest more in community-oriented policing. This budget overall confirms our commitment to provide more funding for our brave police officers and communities across Michigan. And this amendment that I offer further confirms our commitment to the safety of our communities, ensuring our public safety officers have the accountability, resources, and trainings they need to keep our communities safe I ask you to join me in putting our communities and Michiganders first by voting yes on this amendment. Thank you, Madam Speaker.